Okay, so this is going to be a uh, hopefully brief tutorial on how to use some of the tabs at the top. I've done a previous video on how to use the file tabs within a channel, um, but now I'm going to show you things like using OneNote and the planner. Uh, and again, these are things of making sure that we are working live, we're working with momentum, uh, and that we're, we're keeping things going, that we are working truly and collaboratively. So as with the previous video on the files tab, I'm starting here with all the teams that are listed, and I'm in this sandbox team with my general channel open. If I click on that general channel, the default view, the starting view is that chat. And that's where hopefully people are uh, making suggestions, asking questions and answering mm -hmm. questions, seeking information throughout a project so that the work can continue. And so it's a good idea to modify the notifications for a channel. So we can click on the ellipsis here and we can click on channel notifications because there will be some channels that you want to know about. There are some that you won't want to know about. Uh, so in this one, you might want to know banner and feed. So the feed means it will appear in the activity tab and the banner means that you will get a pop-up about it. So the activity tab is up here and that's the feed. That's what has happened most recently. Who's commented on what, who has done a thumbs up, whatever that might be. Now in the files tab, this is where you'll store your documents and folders and it's where you can edit and work on things together here in what is called PLC notebook in this case, but is basically OneNote. And depending on the template that you choose within Teams, it gives you different names for it based on what it thinks you want to do. But really it's the same uh, backbone. It's the same back end of OneNote and you can delete it however you like. Most people get here and think that this is all there is. Your best bet for starters is deleting this page or uh, deleting the contents. But if you click on this arrow over here, the open navigation panel, you then see this is the, the standard template that it's given me and you can delete things as you want, but it gives you the standard OneNote layout. So here we have sections and pages, uh, and this will be again per channel. So not a per team thing, but per channel. And so what I would do to start with is delete the sections I don't want. So resources, permanently delete. Uh, you can't undo these things, but I don't need most of them. But if we call this one, say, subject group, or we called it project one, then this might be agendas, uh, this might be suggestions, this might be meeting notes or roadmaps. And then just with any other use of OneNote, you can share this effectively whiteboard environment. You can, uh, you have to give it a title so that that's what appears in the, the side note there. Wherever you double click, it will add a box. And in that you can type something, draw something, insert something, put in a link, attach a file, link to a file, embed a file. Uh, you can add tables. Um, you can go up to draw and you can doodle whatever you want. You can change colors and whatever it is you might want to do. And so you can do things like mind maps. You can sketch things out. You can. Um, you know, sketch out a timeline for something or how you hope things will link to real visuals to help the team get, get working on things. Uh, so this is a great way to almost maintain a portfolio for, for managing a project. You can attach files there. You can put links to files that you have um, uploaded to the files tab by creating a link to that file uh, or clicking on the share function, generating a URL and pasting in here. So just like this wiki um, URL web link that's been included in the standard template. This that I've called Actions and Whatnot is actually the Planners app that I added by clicking on the Add button and choosing Planner. And the Planner is actually uh, a way of assigning tasks to people that then appear in their calendar for them to do. And that way a whole project team can manage who's doing what and when, what are priorities, who needs to do them, how far along are they, have they completed them, have they started them, is it in progress? You can attach files to them. Um, there's also, you can set due dates, you can assign individuals within your team. You can type in anyone you like uh, that is within your organization normally. And so it's looking up all the, the Antonys there. Um, so as you add those tasks, that way you can say, right, we can't make a move on this until this task is done. So we need that person to have done it. And it gives the whole team, not just one person, an overview of who is doing what when and how far along. You can also check it on the schedule and see who has got an event to do. And these will appear in the person's calendar if you choose it to. And so that way it's reminders of to-dos for them within their calendar. 
um, on a day that they have to do it. It then prompts people to block out times in their diaries in order to do that task so they're not interrupted. Because of course, anything that you put in your calendar will appear as busy for those that are sensibly using the schedule manager in order to see when someone's available. Okay, so that's the basic tabs at the top there and the, the uses of OneNote. And again, further examples of symbiotic working, maintaining momentum and really increasing efficiency so that you don't have to have a meeting for the sake of updating everyone because everyone can be updated the whole time that something's happening. And the chat window is really just a great way of drawing people's attention to something has been put up, something has been added to, someone has a question about something, and that way the whole team can be notified if they've um, edited and modified their notifications in order to do those things, to look at those documents, to give their opinion. Uh, you could give um, within the actions, within the planner, you could give everyone the task of having commented on a particular document by a set date. And that set date may be your next regular meeting, but at least you know who has then ticked off whether they have accomplished that or not. Okay, thank you very much.